guys, Linda here, Handmade Iowa. I am back for a little bit tonight. Uh, it's Saturday night. It's such an exciting life here. Um, just going to do a little bit more on this. I needed to charge my phone. I needed to catch something to eat. And uh, So here's my journal that I worked on earlier. This guy goes in here, so he needs to have something on the back. So that's why he's out. Here's my contemplation. I have this very, very old book I just spent a half hour looking for. I found it on, in my bedroom on the wall on a shelf. I collect uh, Cupid Awake and Cupid Asleeps and vintage gold gilded mirrors. And it was on an old shelf between a couple of those. And I tore my bloody house apart looking for it. But anyway, I was thinking, who cares? 50 cents. I can't find a date on it. It's not worth anything. It's, I mean, it's already worn. Um, I was thinking about putting the cover on here with maybe like some lace or something behind it. I'm just going to cut it off. I'm just going to do it. Oops, there went that. Actually, it looks like scissors will do it. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's old and threadbare. As the author, H.M. Caldwell. Okay, now I need to, oh, I don't have a little roller out here. Mental note, bring a lint roller out, leave it on my desk. Okay, so either this, which I'm not crazy about, after all, or this journal that I shared earlier. It's not a journal, it's a three, what did it say? Five-year diary, this is leather, it's old, it's just beautiful. Anyway, I already cut this cover off because I was testing. I think I'm going to put this on it. The other thing, so there's one, two, or, gosh, this is really pretty. I'd forgotten about this. Or, um, I guess I could do this and wrap it around. But put um, maybe this way uh, a photo, not this one, but oh, something. Um, well, do we have a couple, a big couple? I think they're just single portraits, except for the tags. Those guys look like gunslingers. I could do a big, beautiful woman on the front. Oh, that would be good. <gasps> I love her. You know what I do have? I'll have to share it sometime. My dad's He's been gone a long, long, long time. I have his uh, movie star uh, he used to write movie stars and get cards back signed. He's got one that's signed by it's an actual signature. Um, oh. Not, maybe it's somebody like Laurel and Hardy, but that's not who it is. It's somebody from that, like, a long time ago. Who is it? Charlie Chaplin, maybe? I think it's Charlie Chaplin. But it's his scrapbook, and I've never done a thing with it. And then I also have a scrapbook that he collected that is movie stars um, out of magazines. 
from when he was a little boy. And I was born in 1955. So my dad was in the Korean War. So this would be some old stuff. But I can't bear to take those cards out. And I wouldn't sell them. I'm not that hungry. I'm not that poor. My bills are paid. Oh, wouldn't that be pretty tucked in there? Mm -mm -mm, girl, if I had a frame for that. That's ugly. That's ugly. You know what I cut up? I cut up a... Where's it at? The lid to a candy box. Oh my gosh, I had it right here. Here it is. This was a candy box that I got at Christmas. It needs, I can feel the, the sticky because there was a round label. I can clean that up. Oh, please fit. Nope. But you know, when I cover this, actually, couldn't be that lucky. I'm thinking. Oh, that's not going to work. What do I need to do? Right there. <gasps> Should I do it? I'm going to do it. Even if I don't use it, it's ready. Oh, my gosh. This needs cleaned up. I could put new in. Does anybody else save weird stuff like this? Like with the pizza boxes that have the window in them? Okay, I'm clear on a different tangent. I wasn't even going to do that. Um, that means I have to freaking decoupage. Or, um, I absolutely hate, hate, hate collaging. I don't like it. I don't like to collage. I'll put her down. I need to collage this first. That's the first thing I need to do. And I don't have a big... I hate this book. I'll use this to go on because I don't like this book. Okay, I have to collage this thing. Okay, let's um, get a piece of Amy's paper. This is beautiful right here. Amy. I got two of those. I'm trying to guess how to do this. I'm not going to collage. I'm going to glue it on and cut the circle. How's that? Will that work? I never know what I'm going to do. I bet you're all that way too. Start out with an idea and you can't find things and then it just kind of all goes to you know where. Up in smoke. There. I've got new glue ordered. It's going to be here Monday. I had to cancel my art glitter glue because it didn't show up. And it was supposed to be here and they delayed the shipping and blah, blah, blah. And I had my vellum with it and I just got mad. I'm like, keep it. So I ordered the Barely Art, which I've never had. I see a lot of people using it though. That'll be here Monday. I ordered some new um, 
few inks. All right, let's see if we can do this. I could tell you a funny story about my hand tattoo. Boink, boink, boink. I got married in 2016. After not, after being divorced since 2004 and not really dating, I met a man. Very, very nice man. Made good money all his life, always worked, owned a 7-Eleven. Uh, traveled out of country for years at a time, um, doing water, sewer, um, rebuilding infrastructures. And then he was a uh, manager of a city. When I met him, he was manager of a city in Kansas uh, treatment plant. But anyway, nice, nice, nice guy. Met him, got married, thought, I don't want to be alone. I want to just do it. I'm just going to do it. Anyway, <laughs> he spoiled that, you know, what out of me. It was just a very nice, not because he spoiled me, he wasn't nice. He was just a nice guy. He'd been married for 49 years. He married, when he was 18, he married a girl that was 15. Gasp. Things were different back then. This is the Vietnam era days. And um, anyway, they were married. She ended up sick and, and uh, for many years and then died. And after that many years of marriage, you know, I, th I think, you know, some people just don't want to be alone. I don't mind being alone. But anyway, we got married and he wanted to get matching tattoos. Not matching, but, well, yeah, this was love. Mine says forever. His says together. So when we held hands, it said together forever. How sickening is that? <laughs> Sappy story. So now I'm stuck with it because we got divorced. I just said, you know what? I can't I can't be married. This doesn't work for me. He's a nice guy, though. And I've said on here many times that he loves my grandkids. And by golly, I get Christmas every year. I get birthday of every year. My grandkids all got $25 gift cards this year, presents, and, and th that has nothing to do with being a wonderful person. Trust me. We're all shocked that he still does it, but anyway, that's my... <laughs> I'm stuck with tattoo. So I've always been going to go get it covered up. I've thought about getting a rose over it. I've thought about getting an American Eagle over it. I thought about getting the word patriot because of my flag. Patriot forever. Just, I'm too lazy to go back and sit in the chair. And one of these days I will. I'll come on here and you'll go, ooh, new tattoo, Linda. But that's my story about getting somebody's name or likewise on your body. I could do you one worse. Not only did he get love, he drew this, and then the guy did it. He got Linda on his. <laughs> He's got a girlfriend now. I wonder if he ever covered that up. Probably not. He's, he's a very romantic, uh, or not romantic, loyal, sweet guy. Okay, that's my funny story today. There, guys. How's that? That was painless. There's my frame. Now, where's my lady? Here she is. My lady, she's a tramp. Okay. I've really got to finagle this. It's just not quite, not quite there. Boy, that's it. That's by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Oh, Joe.
Zoe, can you make another one just a hair smaller, bigger, hair bigger? I think, just when I think I've got it, I think that'll do. I really think that'll do. It's, it's, it's going to be okay. I think it'll be okay. Here we go. Put a little glue down. All right. Where's your wipes when you need them? Oh, please let me have one organized day. Please. Okay. That's not in the plan. Where's my wipes? All right, they're gone. Okay, dang it. I think. I think it's going to be all right. I'm really fumbling here. Just need a just a touch here and there. I totally missed it. Oh my god, where's my wipes? Are you kidding me? Um I'll be damned. Where are they? <laughs> I don't even have a Kleenex. Here. I'll dig one out of the garbage. Dang it. Well, you know what? That's nothing a little glue won't hurt. Or, um, not glue. Ink. This is tricky business here. Oh, Joey, look at that. That barely fits. It actually doesn't fit. We're doing the fabulous fake. I'm going to find those wipes right when I get done, and I'm going to be so mad. I'm gonna be like, Are you kidding me? Like Mitzi would say, God bless America. <laughs> I love her. She's always God bless America. All right, this is how we gotta do this. There. Now, you know what? If I cover this back, even though it's gonna be on somewhere, cover it with something substantial, like something good. I'm gonna do this. This book can go away. There you go. Up there where you'll probably fall. Um, piece of file folder or something. Cardboardy. Doesn't really matter because it's going to be glued down wherever it goes, or is it? Actually, isn't that kind of cute? If I that's 
what I'll do. Look at her right there. Snow ended with like 10 flakes. Nothing, can't even measure it. You can blow it off your windshield. Sweep your dry. I don't even have to sweep my dry. There's nothing to sweep. Literally no snow. Crazy. That's not sticky. Yeah, that's, that's a cute bag. And honestly, I've got glue. I only ordered it because I need a new needle. And I know you can probably order the needles, but I thought, well, I'm at it. I'll just get the whole shebang. Because, oh, there is no other needle that works. Make sure that's the top. Yep. Somebody said on one of the threads to order the pins that you use when you, like, for dissecting insects. But they're stainless. Whoever I was watching, and I wish I remembered because she made some dangles and she had a really easy way of doing them. Um, and she had gone through lots of different dangles trying to find stainless steel. They said they were, but when they came, they weren't and they rested. Um, so somebody said in the comments, actually, if I went through and looked at my likes, or comments, I could probably find it. Uh, bugs, bug pins. So, but I thought, all right, by the time I do that, I'll just reorder. Isn't it just the little things in life that make you happy? <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? That's pretty. Okay, let's decide, are we going to do this. I don't really want her hanging off. I mean, she could. Where do we want this fabulous old vintage? Whoops. I think we want this. I think this is so fab. Fabulous. Look at it, it's coming apart. I wonder if I should try to get it apart. Oh, I might be sorry about this. Oh, I might be sorry. do it. There. I'm going to get this thinner. I might be crying here on screen in a minute. It's so weird. It's almost like there's, oh, look at that. Layers of Oh my god, what in the hell am I getting into? Oh, the back. Oh, shoot. I might need to. Look at that, guys. I might to just, you know what, it was coming apart. I'm going to re-glue it. 
my clamps are, I've got these. I'm going to re-glue this. Actually, I'll do that off camera. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do that later. Okay, let's go back to this beauty. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to put that on. This can go here. He needs a new back. So let's do this. Or should I do... Coffee dye. I think I'll do the coffee dye. Um. Oh, what else interesting can I say? My son went, to, they had their Christmas with their dad and stepmother, and he came home with better than sex cake. And I'm just going to let that hang there. He took his delicious bread and came home with better than sex cake. Yuki. And it wasn't, I'm just not going to say anymore. I'm done. Be nice. I've had really good better than sex cake with lots of things in it. I haven't had it in years. Actually. I love birthday cake and wedding cake. And I like the corner with all the big flowers and stuff. All the sickening frosting. Because how often do you eat that? Not very often. I haven't had birthday cake or wedding cake in like that in a long time. The bakery kind. There. There. I like that. That way I can jot, jot on the back some form of a name or something. There. Shall I do that? Shall I pretend I know what his name is? What will we call him? Let's call him Stanley. George and Claire. Let's call them George and Claire. Let's let's not use that. Let's use a ruler. Let's put it, yeah, let's put it up here. George is G-E-O, isn't it? Geo and Claire. Joe and Claire. Where are they? Are they at the club? At uh, Moonlight Inn? At, uh, what are they wearing? She's a flapper, man. Look at that hair and everything. He is the dapper dude. Convention center? No, what did they do in the 20s? Well, they were probably shooting craps, but we're not going to write that. Uh, 19. Let's have 19. Twenty. Twenty. Four. We'll make a fun. 1924. Should we say Omaha? Omaha knee. There we go. That looks real. <sighs> okay. So there's that. There you go, guys. Tuck away. This is done. Um, I have this. I thought I'd put a stamp on it. These stamps are from uh, 1924 Linens and More. Is that what it is? Linens and More. And then I'll postmark it if I can find it. There we go. 
Even though there's some on there, I'll put, I'll put another one on. Let's see. There we go. That looks better. Um, da -da -da -da. Okay, that's done. Um, I don't know if I should round the corners, maybe. Alright, this can go in somewhere. Get in there. Oh, I don't have any pockets or anything. Let's just, I'm gonna just start popping stuff in so I don't lose it. Alright, I need a belly band or something here. Let's do this. I'm gonna fold it. Glue it on something good. Let's see. Do I want it to go across? Up and down. Up and down. Okay. this up. Where is all my cardboardy stuff? There we go. So our Iowa caucuses are coming up. If you're not from Iowa, you probably really don't know what a caucus is because we don't have primaries. And I usually caucus. I caucused last election. I've caucused twice is all. Um, so what you do is you have your central meeting place and you go and there's different speakers that tell you know, why they like a particular candidate. Not very many people want to speak, trust me, but I was asked to stand up and read something and I did. Uh, it was uh, the Republican Party platform is what I read and just told what I was voting under. Well, you have two choices. If you vote independent, it's like thrown, you know, you're making a stand, but it's out the door because you're not really, you know, it's going to be one or the other. That gets the election or the nomination. So, um, anyway, I got up and read that because I don't, I'm not shy. And then you, if you have questions, you can write them down and hand them in. I think that's how they do it. I can't remember. And those get answered, and then you take a vote on uh, who you would support in an election. And uh, they get tallied. And so you reach precincts, you know, like districts or precincts uh, of your township or whatever. And then at the end of the night, or, you know, sometime. They get called in, obviously, to the um, Republican or Democrat office. 
and that's how they come about for who is the nominee for the state of Iowa. But it's, we're the only state in the nation that does it. And it's really neat because it, it's the people of the community. Anyone is welcome. Anybody can go. You can ask questions, hand them in, uh, say what you think about somebody. I mean, you know, nobody, we don't fight out here like that. Like, I don't like him because blah, blah, blah. Um, it's, it's really, really neat. Where the other states, they have the primaries, you just go in and go to a thing and vote, I believe. That's how they do it, isn't it? But we don't do that. We, do, we talk about it. It's kind of cool. I forgot to glue this, ink this. Dang it. I hate it when I do that. So that's coming up. That's what a that's what a caucus is. We also have the straw poll at the state fair, and it's um I don't really know what it is. It's the draw straws like straw like hay straw. Okay, what was I gonna put in there? My woman, where'd she go? Woman or oh woman, where are you at? Was she fit? Oh, I don't like her with that paper. Nope, I don't like that. Nope. She needs to be in a pocket. Okay, that's out. Um, got an envelope. I might do this. Actually, um, Yeah, I think I'll do that. Maybe I'll do it like this. Yeah, that's pretty plain paper. I'm going to do that. Oh, I wish they would figure out a way to make this glue or this ink open better. This envelope's from the 1924 Linens and More. Uh, I think she's in, I don't know if she's in Massachusetts, I forget. Um, Connecticut? New Hampshire. I think she's from New Hampshire. She's delightful. She's just delightful on Instagram. Beautiful things. There we go. I'd love to order from her, but I have so much crap right now. Oh my gosh, she posts the most gorgeous little um, bunches, like bundles of pink linens. And uh, everything will be pinky, like the lace and, the, and uh, a little um, embroidery piece. And oh, look, it'd be just like if you had a room and you're decorating a room and you had like a little vignette. That's what her little bundles of lace and stuff are like. They're like little vignettes. They're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, there goes that, Bebe. Get on there. Okay. Got that. I have this. I need a pocket. I like pockets better. I just like pockets better. This could be a pocket. This could be a little, like a low. Is that tall enough for something like that? Yeah. That's tall enough. Okay. It's tomorrow, Sunday. Boy. Back to a work week already, almost. How does that happen so fast? Okay. I'm going to cover this with... Um... like 
that. <clears throat> okay, Amy to the rescue. I don't want to cut up those children. Tillens. There's my haunting envelope I can't figure out. Okay. I'm going to cut this. Actually, I'll do the whole thing. I'll tell you what I did. I rearranged after Christmas. And last fall, I put a uh, new shiplap up. I put on the bottom, I put the batten board thing, and I painted it. The top is white. It's called, um, it's called Winter Wedding or so. I don't know what it's called. It's white. And on the bottom, it's called New Patina, and it's kind of a, I don't know depending on if you're colorblind or not some people would say it's a, like a soft green I say that it's like a I don't know that kind of I don't know what color it is it's a weird color it's beautiful I love it anyway I put that up and I didn't move my love seat and paint behind it I painted as far as I could and quit when I moved my love seat, I'm like, ah, and I'm out of paint because I did another thing in another room with that color. It's a Valspar paint. So now I got to go Monday and get a quart of paint, paint where I should have painted in the first place. <laughs> well, it didn't show behind the love seat. Nobody could see. So that's that. I'm going to punch this corner. Okay, and I think I'll put a little thing on it. Um, find my middle. I was up till three in the morning last night working on this book because everybody was ahead of me. Not that it matters, but I'm like, why do I have to be so detailed about them? Like, I don't need to make three signatures. You know, I, I just, I, I've just got a bad habit of doing that. So. I don't think some little lace would be so cute in some of this. And she's fat. I do like her though. He needs, all my ribbon is over there. He needs a piece of leather. Or twine. Stuff falling everywhere. I still have to figure out what to do with this jewelry that I want to put on here. Um, 
be boyfriend, girlfriend. He, oh, that's right. I think he goes in there. Okay. He's okay. Well, he needs backed too. Um, does anybody like glue? Every time I try glue sticks, they don't work. I was going to try that Pritt stick. I've never tried that. Um, what is that one? Uh, in the yellow Yoohoo or something like that. I've never tried that one. The only one I've ever used is Craft Create. I just cannot get it to stick. It dries out. Like you go back a year later and they're dry. So I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you use if you use glue sticks. And then do you use them because you sew around your pages? Because I, I wouldn't mind it if I sewed. I don't know. I must not do something right. Okay. There's that. I want him in there. Okay, that's done, that's done, that's done. I need something for this. I have all kinds of documents to put in. Like letters from the family. That'll fit. I'm going to trim it up a little bit. Trim the corners just a tad. That'll go in there. I'll have to fix the back of that. Um, I still want to put this in there somewhere. We have uh, this. This isn't going to fit. But maybe um, it just won't fit. Okay, I wish it would though. If I had a white and a white, like a white on each side. And I could fold this over. Not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Give it up. Give it up, Linda. I want this in here somehow. This is going in. All right, I think here's a piece of a document. He keeps 
falling out. Let's see. This could tuck in there. Because he's falling out, he needs to be more stable. I could pin them together if I had a rusty clothes pin, uh, bobby pin, not bobby pin. What do you call it? Paper clip. But I don't. I don't think that'll work. All right, for now that's where that's going. Gotta have the inking or it's not old. Gotta fake it out. Fabulous fake. I'm going to come back off camera and do the back. I might lay it on my counter and paintbrush some coffee on it. This would be cute stapled on there, though. Like this. How can I do that? I need a paper... Uh, I think I got this from Mitzi. Mitzi, here's your paper clip. Girl. Okay, there. Now he'll stay put better. All right, I've got these little postcards that are fake. They make cute tuck spots. I could make it um, more sturdy of cardboard. and I'll make it a, a tuck and then I'm going to go off and do some work off camera some of the boring stuff there we go We're going to tuck this baby. How about at the top? An up tuck? Or just a little corner? I think just a little corner tuck. There. Pop a couple little things in there like that.
there. That's cute. This is just a little, this was a, um, actually both of these, they were a piece of scrapbook paper. Let me get cut in sections. As was this. I tried to get my son to play games today. It's not fun with two people, he says. I said, well, we can play Yahtzee. That's not fun with two people. But yeah, it is. We got a new game called Five Crowns. His friend brought it down, and it is so fun. But you need more than two people. Mexican Train, we got that at Christmas time. That's enough there. Um, we can't play any of those without another person. I don't like that other Curtis show. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off. Say sayonara, adios, and all that stuff. And there's another thing I can pop in. I'll decorate these up. Oh look. Sticking together? What the heck is going on here? What do I do? Oh, I forgot to do the bottom. Oh my god, I thought I was losing my mind. What on earth? I thought I had two pages sticking together really bad. <laughs> Which wouldn't be shocking okay there we go all right that's a little bit done okay I will be back tomorrow and hopefully I have a hopefully I'm ahead of the game on this thing because it'll be all the new challenges will be coming up again I'm gonna do Roxy's and I saw that she posted it I don't know what it is so Guys, have a nice Sunday.